doing a quick little activity to kind of get them hooked on the subject of what they already know. Um, yeah, and so it's really easy to get to um, the progression of standards. So you're at the home page. Um, oh, shoot. I did not want that. So you go, then you click on the standards. And then, um, I don't like doing this on a phone, so the standards. And then you click on appendices, if it'll let me. Okay, so it's there's a link like here. I'm going to press the appendices and then you go to appendix appendix S disciplinary core idea progressions. So then you scroll we're going to, what are we? PS1, PS1, three. Um, so that's the structure of matter. So for a fifth grade, it is a three through six, or three through five, excuse me. Matter exists as particles that are too small to see, so matter is always covered even if it seems to disappear. Measurement of a variety of obstacle of obser observable properties can be used to identify proper materials. So to go about teaching that, or um, I would touch on what they have done before, which is the K through two one, which is a lot younger for fifth grade, but to kind of get their mind doing matter exists in different substances. So um, I would have them kind of use different substances, see that each one is matter and takes up space. Um, and we could do the pins and the, the closed pin, the safe paper clips in the cup of water to show that this matter does take up space. It's not as much space as we think, um, but it is taking up space. So, um, and then I'd go just more into detail about, um, uh, like, um, sorry, I totally lost my train of thought about how to measure that different ways to do so. But as I was saying, um, this is so unorganized. Um, you have the engage, which you can read a story relating to yours, which I really liked, or a video, which I found for my 5e lesson, I found a ton of awesome videos and a lot of resources that I will probably use in the future. Um, and then you have your explore, which is your productive struggle for the students. So um, you're doing your hands-on activity here, like we did at the beginning where we just did our explore activities, and all of them were awesome and so much fun. Um, this is where your kids can, I think, have the most fun in the lesson. Um, and then you go into your, I always get confused. I think it's, it is, um, the elaboration, uh, let me see, let me see. It's elaboration or explanation, so it is elaboration first. So you explain, you do your explore, elaboration, why were they struggling? Why was it hard for them? Like what could be done different? What I really think of and what 
was really shown or what really was an obvious um productive struggle was the uh, moon phases lesson so you had the flashlight and we couldn't really figure out how to get it right I mean some of us were on the right track but some of us were totally off so then we went to the explain and they showed us how to properly do the flashlight in our ball to get the right moon phases so then we went um no that was elaborate and then you explain what each phase is and then then it is um I can't think of the word but it's the assessment part evaluation which then you go in which I liked when I did it for mine when I used stuff for from the explain and elaborate phases of my lesson that way it's not a ton of you're doing this 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 and then a quick quiz or something um so I really liked that um the engineering design process in detail so the engineering design process is a circle it is you you ask a question so you have a question in your mind you imagine what this product or what you could do with this. You plan how to make the product. You create it and then you improve on it. So then it's all a cycle. So, um, just kidding. You start with imagine. You have your idea. You plan it out. You create it. You improve on it and you ask questions about it. Like what? Um, could be better about it. Um, so I liked how I really like how in elementary there it's a lot more engineering. There was a lot more STEM. There wasn't in a lot of that in my when I was in elementary school. So I love that um, that is being Im- implemented now. Um, something that we used was the robots. We created them, and then we thought, huh, how can this needs to be better? How can this be better? And we figured out how to do it by asking each other questions. We were in groups, so we were able to ask our group members how to improve on it. Um, so then you'd go into detail, like, why did you improve on this? And what in the real world could this be used for? So you're really making those direct real-world um connections with the students um so we're at the end which assignment did you feel was the most impactful I think the five e lessons so that way you were able to see I liked how we got to see what our peers were doing in the practicum but also I had so much fun doing that. I had so much fun fun participating in others, other people's lessons as well as planning my own because then I was excited to share mine with the other with the class. Um um and I just had a blast with that. It was I love being taught by my peers and it's just a good time. And then I liked how my group did it personally we did it in class and then taught it in our practicum so that way we got our feedback from our peers to how to improve when we were in the practicum which made our um, practicum 5e lesson a whole lot better um which assignment did you not um i feel like i didn't get a lot out of the unit plan i understand getting lessons to go together to build on each other to a whole big idea I understand that but I just felt even though I waited I did I don't know I just feel like I was very overwhelmed even though I tried to work on it throughout since we got it and I still waited till really the end to finish most of it um 
So, yeah. I know you're going to still continue to do that. And I understand why you did it. I just feel like I personally didn't get a whole lot out of it. Because we had gone in and already done a 5e lesson plan. Even though it was with a group we still... I hate to say this, but even with my group, I felt like I was the one really planning it all out. Um, with very minimal help with mine. Um, so I feel like I got a lot of practice of making 5e lesson plans. So, yeah. Thanks for an awesome semester. I absolutely loved this class. It was so much fun. I loved coming every day. Uh, yay. Bye. <laughs>